So today we have got some work to do. Currently on my way over to tier three, we are gonna be putting in some hood pins in my carbon fiber hood because as of right now, driving down the highway, my hood likes to do this little floppy thing because the wind really likes to get underneath it. So we need some extra support to keep this thing down here. Uh, we're gonna put those in. And then also I have had this cage in my car eh, probably for close to a year. And let me tell you, the thing's not really professionally put in there. It's one of those things where it, it's <laughs> the best way to describe it. Every single part, other than the gauge itself to keep it in there, was bought at Home Depot. So that should tell you everything about that. So we're gonna be replacing the gauge, getting some actual, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it, holder, stinger? We're gonna get an actual holder thing to actually keep it where it's supposed to be so it looks a little more professional. We're also going to be installing an air fuel ratio gauge because I know this car is running rich. The question is, how rich is it actually running and is it dangerous for the car to be running like that? So let's go to tier three, go say hi to Mike and hopefully they can help us out today. Who's ready to have some fun? Dude, you like the shirts? Hey, that is a good looking shirt. Right? right? Yours is in the car. I got it. That's my favorite thing to ask people. It's like, oh, my Subaru blew up. I have no idea. I just go, did you put oil in it? <laughs> so here was the situation we ran into. Here's the hood pin we're putting in, and we want to put it in this hole right here. But as you can see, it's kind of like throwing a hot dog down a hallway at this point. So Mike had a stroke of sheer genius. Lloyd? He's like, well, let's just take these old rubber bushings here. Uh, bushing? Spacer? Yeah, they're like cushions for the hood. Rubber cushion is like, well, let's just shove that thing in that hole because it's tighter. And I mean, should be doing the same thing. There's going to be washers on both sides. So I mean, it's not like you're relying on it to hold the hood down. And it's not. That, that's what the washers are for. We're going to do it. So really, it just makes sense. And if it falls apart, well, like I said before in the last video, you know what? I'm the one that spent the money on the parts you didn't. So you just calm down and when it blows up, I'll let you know about it and tell you not to do that. <laughs> That's a good answer. You're right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, are you cross-threading um, it? <laughs> yeah, actually I did. <laughs> How the frick is that even possible? It takes a talented mechanic. Yeah, it does. <laughs> to cross-thread rubber. It has the slant to it. Oh. <laughs> you try to start the drill and go Just take it. a punch and... <laughs> Fire wrench on this one, right? Or just put the pin in and we'll close the hood as hard as we can. <laughs> Are you ready for this? So, I was gone for a while because of things that I'm supposed to be doing that I'm not doing today, but we're not gonna talk about that. But, 
Mike has made some pretty good progress here. Looks like he's got everything measured out where it should be. How he did it, I don't know, but he's a smart guy. So here's a part of the video I'm cutting a lot out of because Mike has been tampering with these pins, trying to get them to line up the way they should, and it's about as exciting as you'd think it'd be. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not. pretty boring. No, that sucks. So I'm just going to cut it all up, but just know he's been at this for about a solid half hour now, maybe longer. I don't know. I'm not timing him. That's but, good. Yeah. Because I ain't breaking no world records here. Uh, no. Not anytime soon. But, uh... You know, we'll get it. It's it's just what it takes to get it to line up. Twelve seconds later. And bam, just like that, you're done. How easy was that? So easy. Here's why. I didn't have to do a jack shit. <laughs> Mike, how tedious was that? So tedious that I'm never gonna do it again. <laughs> so if any of you want hood pins in your car, don't go to tier three because they're not doing it anymore. No, message my Facebook directly. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> These things seriously look awesome. Plus, my head, hood won't do the whole flappy thing anymore when I go over 70. And your two halves will stay together. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a plus. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for today. So until next time, we'll catch you in the next one. <clears throat> All right. So I know we said we'd be installing some gauges in my car, and we did. No, but not we, not Nathan, Mike. No, Kevin. Thank Kevin! you, Kevin. <laughs> Unfortunately, when Mike was putting in the hood pins, Kevin just went to town on the gauges, and I never got a chance to record any of it. So that's why none of that's in. But what I'd like to do is at least show you what the gauges look like. I do that too, but as you can see, my car is not here. <laughs> Sold the damn thing. Nick, where's my car? <laughs> <laughs>